It's Bob Powers here. Today I wanted to show you basically how to get some nice shoes and save money on them, okay? So first of all, uh, these all three pair of shoes here are really the same make and model of shoe. The only difference really is two things. One is the size um, and two the color. So obviously if you have black, uh, we've got a nice deep brown here and cordovan, okay, or sometimes we're do as ox blood. Um, but anyway, so these three shoes are cap toed. You see they're all cap toe. Oxford. The actual make and model of this shoe, right? They are. Uh, get it right side up. It's a Johnston and Murphy, and the model of this shoe is called a Melton, M-E-L-T-O-N. Okay, and they do come with uh, leather soles. Okay, so first of all, once you buy um, a particular model of shoe from a manufacturer you like, you like, like I do like Johnston and Murphy, then you're going to get to know the way that their shoe fits. So, for example, I took the shoe trees out. Okay, of one of each of them. So this you see here, if I can get the light right, this is a size, I don't know if you can tell that from the video, but it is a size 12. And you see the D, okay, that first D there? So 12D, okay? So what that means is obviously every under, everybody understands shoe size of 12, but D is the width, okay? It's the width of the ball of the foot. Now compared to this, this is also a Johnston & Murphy Melton, okay? Right, it's the same model shoe. But this is an 11 and a half, and you see that there? It's an 11 and a half 3E, okay? So what that means is this shoe is actually just a little bit shorter, okay, but wider. Now, can you tell? Look at the width of the brown shoe versus the black one. Can you tell? It's actually quite a bit wider, okay? So tip number one on getting a good price on shoes is know your actual foot size. Now, just for example, uh, my left foot is actually a little bit wider than my right. And that's true for most people. One of your feet is going to be either bigger, smaller, shorter, narrower than the other. So, but I know that my shoe size, my ideal shoe size is usually right around an 11 and a half E, which is difficult to, to find. So if I go up a half size from an 11 and a half, because D is standard width, D is standard width. So E is wider, uh, then there's double E, triple E, okay? And wider and wider, wider still, okay? And it's about 3 sixteenths of an inch wider every width you go up. Uh, and though for, so for example, C or B would be narrower still, okay? A would be really narrow. So I know that I can get a 12D and it'll fit me, okay? Now, it's still sometimes a hair on the tight side, but it's manageable, okay? So you can see here, once I knew that the 12D fit me pretty well, I knew that either a 12E or even an 11 and a half E, 11 and a half E is wider than a 12D, I knew that would fit like a glove. So this pair of shoes here, this $175 pair of shoes, I actually bought them online sight unseen, okay? So I got this $175 shoe for 46 bucks, okay? Now you can see it's a triple E, so here's another trick. Because it's a triple E, which is actually a hair too wide for me, you see this, right? Dr. Scholl's air pillow insoles. You put these suckers in, and what it does is actually takes up room in the shoe. So in essence, what I'm doing is I'm using that air pillow insole to size the shoe down a little bit. Okay, again, these are the 11 and a half triple E's, right? And again, here's another 12, 12 D, okay? So, and the same thing with these, once I knew that the 12D fit me, I can buy a Johnson & Murphy, you know, uh, Melton shoe, and I know without even trying it on, it's going to fit, okay? So now you can start to look for deals. Recently, I saw this exact same shoe, brand new, okay, uh, on eBay, um, brand new, just without the box for 50 bucks. Um, so hopefully that, you know, informs you a little bit, and, uh, you know, you can start to build up your shoe collection without going broke.